I have a Western face, a Guaido face, but a Chinese heart. I'll continue to do everything I can to make this part of the world uh, stronger and stronger and continue to tell the story to the world. And we have a saying now, seeing is believing. Come to Hong Kong, see for yourself. My name is Alan Zeman. I'm chairman of Lan Kwai Fong Holdings. I came to Hong Kong, I was 19 years old, and uh, I, at that time, I had already started my own business. Uh, I was living in Montreal in Canada. I was in the fashion business. Hong Kong was really the factory to the world. All the factories were in Hong Kong. I came here uh, just to uh, see if I can place orders with the factories in Hong Kong so that I could then export to Canada and US. Hong Kong was a can-do place, you know? Hong Kong was the kind of place you can have a dream at night, wake up in the morning, and make it a reality. And I, as a young entrepreneur, really loved that. I had a big buying office, and I, I were, were doing business with many uh, buyers from all over the world, and many uh, designers, uh, because we were in the fashion business. During the British years, Hong Kong was actually quite boring, you know, it was for nightlife, because uh, they were quite formal. All the restaurants, the bars, the clubs were all in hotels, not so many in the street like we're used to today. And if you went to a restaurant in, in a hotel, if you didn't have a jacket, they used to give you a jacket to wear, and then you needed to wear a tie because of the British system. I never wore a tie in my life like other places in the world had street restaurants, you know, and, and then clubs and bars. That's what started me off. And then I was, we were looking around for areas. Lankwafan was just the back street, you know, with a lot of old warehouses. So yeah. how long this was this? This is uh, Lankwafan in 1945. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so you can see all the old buildings and stalls, street stalls. Very different world. Yeah, there's so many people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, can yeah. see the clothes. It's yeah, very yeah, traditional. Yeah, very traditional. <laughs> I always say I look at things not for what they are. I look at things for what they could be. I saw, even though the street was on a slope, and but it was one, one road from Queens Road, which was the, the heart of the business district. Wow, I thought it could be a, a really great street. And, uh, and so we, we opened up California restaurant first, you know, and and uh, it became very very famous. An area I opened up more restaurants, and I opened and I bought some of the property. People came from overseas, you know, they all came to Lang Kwai Fung because it became so famous. So, Alan, what was this street look like 40 years ago? Well, 40 years ago. Yeah. This was a lot of flower shops like yeah, we see yeah. right here. Parents used to bring their daughters and their so. sons so that they could really meet, yeah, each, meet other. each other yeah. and maybe have a marriage, propose a marriage. In yeah. the old days, it was fixed marriages. Mm. So this was the area, and that's why it just had a great feng shui, a great, yeah. a great... But now it has so many bars and Now so many restaurants, bars, clubs, uh, you know, shops, but... Yeah, it's it's but same thing. People come here to meet many many people over the years. Have met their husband, their wife <laughs> in Lake Bay Falls. Yeah, uh, they've had we've had weddings in yeah. the old California really? restaurant here. Weddings? Here? Yeah, before in a sure, bar? sure, sure. People, yeah, yeah, it's a restaurant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, a lot of different people. Mm -hmm. The bride was wearing a leather dress. In in 2003, we have Ocean Park that's a theme park that's losing money and then Disney is coming to Hong Kong and uh, we're worried and so I went to Ocean Park and again I looked at it the park was falling apart you know I thought we need to paint give it a paint job you know make it uh, look look better uh, fix some of the pavement and uh, and also the staff they had long faces, you know, they're wearing old uniforms from... So I thought, no, I came out of the fashion business because we didn't have so much money like Disney, you know. So I used to, for um, advertising, I used to dress up in crazy costumes. 
myself in the newspaper about Ocean Park, about what's coming. After, you know, after six years, we became number one in the world. So I beat Disney and it was, gave Hong Kong people so much pride, so much face. They really spread very bad rumors in the West about Hong Kong and China. And that's why I do so much interviews with foreign media to tell them it's not true. <laughs> you know, that, and we have a saying now, seeing is believing. Come to Hong Kong, see for yourself. Because so many people, buyers who've come here, tourists who've come, they say to me, oh wow, that's not what we expected. Over the years I watched change open up more and more and more. And the life of the people got better and better and better. And that's why I admired it so much. I could see China was really moving in the right direction, really cared about the people and really to give the people a, a better life. You know, and that's why in 2008, I became Chinese, I changed my passport. At that time I told the Canadian uh, ambassador here that I want to give up my passport and I want to, you know, get a Chinese passport. And he looked at me like I was crazy. Are you sure? And I said, yeah, I'm very sure. I want to be Chinese, that I really feel that that's the country of the future. And so I'm very proud of it. Well, because one country, two systems is very important for Hong Kong because we can be the gateway from China to the world and from the world to China. That's why Hong Kong has such an importance and so many people want to come to Hong Kong to, to uh, set up as they see a great future ahead for themselves.